Yeah. All right, Tails, man, whenever you're ready. All right, man, so introduce yourself to the people, give a little, you know, little backstory. Um, I came from New York, Queens, uh, raised there 10 years. Uh, everything hip hop inspired. I moved uh, to Sugarland, Texas when my parents divorced. I stayed there with my dad for four years and that's why I started rapping. Uh, that's also where I came with my rap name. You know, uh, Two Tails came from me and my boy making a bet with the coin, laying on tails twice. And that's how I got my rap name. Uh, when I moved to Connecticut, my mom bought me my first microphone. That's when I started rapping. That's when I started releasing music and doing what I do now. Uh, it came to a point where you know, I was doing okay. I'm, I'm never gonna say I'm doing great, but I was doing okay to the point where I got my first show. Shout out Spocker. I went to Rhode Island, you know, killed that. Um, shout out to my OG G Money for putting me on too. You know, got on Hot 97, 93.7. Shout out my OG uh, Gold, give me all these shows. I opened up for the likes of uh, Troy Ab, Lil Uzi, uh, you know, Cardi B. Um, and since then, it's just been a roller coaster. You know, I've been doing cool stuff like this. I've been on several radio stations, just rapping my ass off, uh, showing everyone what I got. And it ain't, it ain't stopping too soon. It's, it's been a crazy roller coaster, and I'm only at the I'm only at the top. I ain't dropped yet. I'm still going. All right. So I heard you got a tape coming out. What's it about? What's the tone? Yes, sir. Uh, it's called Hope You're Happy Too. Hope You're Happy Too is uh, my blood, sweat, and tears uh, for the past two and a half years put into one. That's that's what we doing here. You got any bangers on it? Yes, sir. All bangers, everything. I got uh, Windows, I got Amen, I got all that. I gotta ask you, why'd you even start rapping? Like, how'd you even get this? I started rapping um, just because of, just cause of where, my, where I'm from. New York and, and Houston heavily, heavily influenced by hip hop, you know? The first rapper I ever I ever heard in my whole life was Lil Wayne. I can still recite his first lines, you know. Um, since then, I was just kind of like, this is, this is real cool. And these were all young cats too. And I was young at the time too. So I'm like, you know, you don't gotta be a certain age to do this. So like, why can't I do it right now? So, you know, 10 years old, I started just writing my little rhymes, my notebook, uh, going to the ciphers in school, schoolyard, started spitting. Uh, and I learned that, you know, girls like the spitters too. So. Every time I spit like a hot line, you have the girls in the background gas me up. So real talk, like it just all kind of came through from my environment and girls. Like that's that's really why I really started rapping. All right, so I saw you you dropped the video for I hope you're happy too. Um, can you touch on it a little bit? Like explain the song, the video. The yeah, concept. definitely. Um, hope you're happy too. Came about you know through a tough time. Um, it came through because. You know, I, I like being honest on my songs and I, I got real, real honest here. And um, the song came out fire when I made the video. It's a, a real cool, super cool analogy for the whole concept of it. And everything came out cool. Well, I got some lyrics here that I kind of want you to read and then just tell me about them. Gotcha. What's going through your head when you, when you wrote these? Okay. When I hop inside the booth, I channel my aggression until everything I ever prayed for in my possession, even everything I lost in my past is a lesson. No, it takes some time to learn. We done made it through the worst. Trying to come back and make all of my mistakes in reverse. They go cry over my hurt. Say it's not what he deserved. The stress I've been immersed. All my demons I didn't curse. And I'm still here on the block. NYC, I read my turf. Undermining what I got. But I know I'm overworked. When that smoke settle, they gon' see me shining like a pearl. I can't damn nobody up. In my hands, I got the world. That's some real stuff, man. You know, I said, uh, when I hop inside the booth, I channel my aggression until everything I ever prayed for in my possession, I'm working until I until I make it. Everything I lost in my past is a lesson. Those are facts, you know? I know it took some time to learn, and we done made it through the worst. I'm trying to come back and make all of my mistakes in reverse. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, more about that? I'm trying to right my wrongs. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to do what I, what I couldn't do. I'm trying to, you know, um, correct my, correct my mistakes. I said, when they go cry over my hearse and say it's not what he deserved, because you know, they don't, they don't mess with me now, but when I pass, that's when they go mess with me. Um, and all my demons aren't cursed, undermining what I got, but I know I'm overworked because I'm working my ass off. And when that smoke settle, they go see me shining like a pearl because I'm working my ass off 
and through it all, I'm still shining and I can't dap nobody, I can't dap nobody up because in my hands I got the world because I got I got a bright future ahead of me, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a uh, some it's some fire lyrics. I can't can't really believe that I wrote this. So do you know when the tape's coming out and why it takes so long to actually or, I guess, um, the tape's it. coming out this month for sure. Um, I got my my brother, I got my OG John Dilly, just shout out Jay Dilly, Dilly Gang 86. Um, he's mixing and mastering it as we speak. Um, I'm still putting the final touches on it. I might add, I might take out some tracks because I'm real indecisive, but it's coming out this month finally. And after two years of taking out and putting in songs, after two years of new experiences, new trials, tribulations, new hurdles to jump over, um, after two years of just new inspiration, new motivation, um, it's it's finally coming out. It's finally put together. It's I put I finished I put the last piece in the puzzle, and now Johnny's gluing it together and making it a, a picture, putting the frame on it. All right, so I didn't hear the tape yet, but I heard it had a real serious tone. Why is that? Uh, the serious tone came from um, you know me maturing, and I'm not saying that just because you you mature, stuff got to be more serious, but the, the topics are something I never covered in my past. And um, I'm just in a different mindset. And my mental state is different than when it used to be. You know, my last mixtape was just a completely different vibe. It's called Shit That Was Today. And that was just me kind of being on my BS, jumping around, having fun, going crazy. And it did real well, but this, that's not where I'm, where I'm at right now. Today, in this day and age, I want to touch on some things that can kind of touch other people. And I want to be, um, I want to be the artist that my inspirations were to other people. I want to, you know, I want to show them what I got, what I can offer to you. And, you know, everything's going to be all right at the end of the day. All right. So I feel like your heart is like in this tape, like crazy. Like, why is that? Um, I put a lot of, of, of work into it because, uh, you know, throughout the throughout the two years, you know, I had a, my homie go to jail. I had some people that I care about pass. Um, you know, I was going through a lot of other tough times that I touch on on the tape. Um, and I put my heart into this tape because I, I don't usually talk about anything to anyone. You know what I mean? I don't post nothing about what I go through. You know, even when, when people I care about pass, I don't put RIP. I just kind of pray. I just sit there and uh, uh, think about, you know, their life and kind of celebrate it. Um, but this is the first time where I talk about anything um, that affected me, that impacted my life in, uh, in, in such a manner. And that's why my heart's into it because I'm talking about it, I'm speaking on it. I'm showing you guys that, you know, I'm going through this. If you're going through it too, I get you. And here's how we get through it together. So, all right. So it sounds like you feel like you have something to prove. Why is that? Definitely. Um, I've always had something to prove since I was a kid. I was always had this little chip on my shoulder because um, I'm always out here in the ciphers rapping my heart out. I'm always out here, every radio interview I got, you know, showing, explaining why I am the way I am, uh, spitting to any beat you give me, um, hopping at any show on stage. You know, it doesn't matter if the crowd is 15 or 1500, I'm gonna give that same energy. I'm gonna give that same, uh, that same passion because I'm, I'm real passionate about what I do. And I always got, I always got something to prove. I always got that chip on my shoulder. And even when I get that accolade under my belt, I'm gonna still rap like I got something to prove. I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm, I, I don't want to say I'm angry, but I want to show people that I'm not, I'm not, you can't play me like a joke. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious about what I do. I take this very, very seriously. All right, so I know you got to go. Um, what are your last thoughts? Why should people get this tape? Um, they should get this tape because I feel like it can inspire a lot. It can motivate people because I want to be, um, what the Kid Cuddies, the Kanye Wests, the Eminems were to me. You know, I, I went through a tough time as a kid. They spoke to me in, in a way that no one ever did. Um, I wanna do that same thing for other people. And um, I just really hope that I can, I can kind of help them find their happiness. And that's what it is, I hope you're happy.